Yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to get dressed by the time you leave. All right. <sighs> Damn it. I was actually wanted to share a, an emotional clip of the Simpsons and our light still not working. Crummy. It's basically I look like a mess, you know, I just got out the shower. The thing is, there was this emotional episode of The Simpsons when Bart was failing his test. And I am definitely not dressed because I'm still in my gown, so to speak, or my long shirt that I like to sleep in or being around the house. Basically, this episode was when he actually did his best to study. When he actually got an, um, an F and he actually convinced um, basically his teacher, Miss Kababa, way before she died on how he actually had to say something about the presidents so that he was able to actually get a D. And watching that episode, it was really emotional because um, I just wanted to share something. I've been uh, putting a lot on YouTube right now. And I was watching, um, damn it, my mistake. I was watching um, a video of Veritasium about the black hole right now because I'm into space science and geography. This is the episode that I actually just watched just now, right? And also, a little TMI actually helped um, shave my brother's back. My, 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 ah, I can't talk right now. My brother's back because he needed some help because he couldn't reach in the back. Even though with me being really short, but not, I actually had a tiptoe does actually help him because we actually have big height differences. So that's why people can't tell that we're siblings. Um, that's to be a little bit random. This episode does explain of how you know, the American educational system can be. From my experience of of all my life, okay, of being in school, high school was the hardest. And the reason why I want to share this is because our principal, she was Irish, by the way, you know, it has nothing to do with it. Her personality was this too much. She was a bastard because she almost expelled me, and look at that how to share that so I love when they do that she was such a bastard because of how I was trying to take notes even though she thinks that I was doing something else because I was multitasking she asked me why were you actually doing this text or whatever and she got so aggressive off my face and put my guys on so I won't be able to share that unfortunately they're sharing their old episodes I prefer them not the new ones that much um she basically got a little bit aggressive towards me. I got upset, and another student asked why I was crying because of her, and she relate to me because of how a lot of students, basically like half the school at least, don't like her. Basically, we, we were in a charter school. Um, they're supposed to prepare Paris for college. It's a, a preparatory high school, right? And think about when you're 14, 15, okay? Technically, like to the point, like, you will have like one of the world, like maybe the country's or world's smartest kids going to college. There's a lot of kids are, are not as smart as them, right? Like for those kids that are 14 that go to college. And it was too much because it was just too much pressure for us to actually get so much homework or be having to get a certain grade just to pass. Because if you actually get below a 70, which is a C average, you failed the class. You don't get a D, like Bart did, for example. If you have a 69, you failed the class. I hated that school that much because not only the principal was the fucking bastard upon my language, but also the, um, um, my biology teacher. I, I think her name was Miss Fister or something like that. I didn't like her that much. She was a young teacher. She looked like she'd probably be like in her late 20s, give or take. She was young, right? But the thing is, she always had to give me like the nasty attitude just because I was falling behind in class and my mother had to go with me, you know, because we had to talk about why I was kind of flunking, even though I was doing my best, while the other students are much ahead of me. And I didn't like that school that much because I wasn't really friends with these students. This is when I really got bullied. I will never forget that damn boy's name, Ricardo Lopez, that acted homophobic around me and want to get physical yet again he would act gay with his friends ninth grade was not good for me it was the 10th grade it got a little bit better 11th grade got much better so to speak right even though there was a boy that i liked an emotional um sense basically pretended that he liked me when i found out that he actually was was dating a boy on fake book and i wanted to 
basically make a suicide veto and the whole school going ballistic. I mean, in a worrying way. I didn't like to get that much attention. And let's just say the high school phase was just terrible. So let me actually just share a clip, right? This is really emotional because honestly, it's, it's hard enough for anyone that maybe watch my videos are around like basically high school, middle age, give or take middle age, you know, like a uh, middle school, right? I'm not talking about viewers younger than 13, you know, I would get viewers younger than that because you're not supposed to have a YouTube account when you're younger than 13, but what, what, like, you know, kids would do anything, right? This scene Bart cried just because he had an F. It's relatable because I know how it does like if I basically couldn't like succeed during my classes, the damn principal would drop me. Because she told me, would you want to basically drop off the class? Like, you won't be able to like succeed. Which means she told me that I'll, I had to go to another school. I don't want to because I like the school. Even though, since I'm not into sports myself, they didn't have any sports um, for, for the other kids, right? She was a horrible principal. The our sophomore principal, I apologize I look like this. This is what I look like like before going anywhere, not being all cleaned up, even though I took a shower. That's what stress and depression does to you. I'm just showing you, this is how I look. And Dion, you're just being upfront and raw about yourself. And that's a great thing because a lot of people like to show that the best points of their darn lives. But let me just continue. And that music! Well, I would think you'd be used to failing by now. Oh, no, you don't understand. I really tried this time. Fail? Uh, 59. It's a high F. <laughs> still failing. Basically, an equivalent to a 69 is a high F. You still failed the class. Oh, am I kidding? I really am a failure. <laughs> oh, oh, now I know how George Washington felt when he surrendered for necessity to the French in 1754. I got a D minus. I passed. <laughs> right. I may be watching that because I'm sure for anyone that's probably from like strict Indian or Asian parents, I know that's a stereotype, but I know by experience. Because the thing is, for me growing up, I basically had to take summer school. It was a complete hell. In my, I think in freshman year when I told you about how the principal was a bastard, I basically had to make it up for it by going on Primavera, which is basically this online um, um, site when you actually had to take for your class at that grade. It was hell because I didn't like how I had to do my work at home because I wanted to relax, you know, for the summer and playing on my Nintendo Wii and playing Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah, it came out in 2008, by the way. So, basically, this is way before I knew anything about social media. I was just enjoying myself as a normal, like, dirt, um, 14 to 16-year-old teen boy should actually enjoy, right? Because that's how I didn't develop depression at the time. I Maybe I did, but it wasn't this bad. Like, this boredom, really. The thing is, basically, my mother, she actually had a higher tutor. I remember the first tutor I actually had. She wasn't that great. Um, I don't want to say any, any like awful remarks or anything. I just remember that point when when she had had to help me with, with my studies when I had to do the primavera online. I remembered how she was going through a lot of stress, right? Which I relate. I was a little bit disturbed because when she was sweating, especially to like the darn like textbook, I felt a little bit disturbed because I didn't like her since she wasn't doing that great of a job. I hate saying that to her. I I didn't though, so to speak. But the thing is, my mother, she actually, um, she was white, by the way, that helps. She basically um, hired a Cambodian um, teacher. I think she was like 21 or something, right? And I can't believe my oldest brother and his friends actually want to comment on, on how hot she was because they actually came over. It was inappropriate, even though she was an adult, right? Um, she would come over for like an hour, um, like maybe like maybe twice a week, give or take, maybe three times a day, I don't remember. And she basically helped me through my studies. And the thing is, is that when you actually take summer school, you cannot even imagine, okay? It does not make us stupid. It does not make us inferior just because other souls are ahead of us. It's a lot because if you basically have like certain mental health issues or whatever, it takes a toll on you. It does. A lot of people don't know that. This is way before I developed social thoughts even though I self-harmed since I was 13, um, I can't believe I remember that far back. Social anxiety, because I'm autistic, um, I mean, that's why I'm, I'm more likely to develop the, the mental condition. 
and this other thing, so if I should recall, it was really hard because you do you do your best in order to actually pass through um, you know these classes. And I decided to just share this, um, just a couple comments. By Roy Young, this scene gets me every time. That was me when I was a kid. Relatable. By Corna Strafi, love that username. This is as good as I can do, and I still fail. Jesus Christ, this is not relatable for anyone who has a certain p passion in the credit creative field. And I'm trying to read like something really, um, oh, here we go, by Penny D. I have ADHD, I do too. And this scene has always re resented me so much, honestly. And honestly, growing up, okay? Literally, growing up when I was an autistic boy, give or take, right? Literally, I had ADHD. I mean, I still have it, even though it would be more ADD. It was really hard for me to actually get the exact help as I need, because I was a special ed growing up from the first to the eighth grade. It was really hard because I couldn't work in a large class without basically having, I want to say a meltdown, a breakdown, because the noise was too damn loud. Right? I couldn't stand noise. This is why I've always been an introvert yet independent growing up. Because my mother, my brothers and I, we were like this growing up. We are really quiet. And I just can't imagine just being like really like a social butterfly and being an extrovert. I mean, I feel bad for people that are extroverts. And like in a way that they need people in order to actually have their energy. I can't imagine that. I need my energy alone. Right? So, I just can't imagine how that's like. Like, you have to be around people all the time. For me, like, just stay away from me. Like, I would yell at you or I would do the Elsa ice um, slash, you know, go across the floor. Like, get away from me, right, in my head. And this is why I just want to share this because education here in the United States, it can be pretty bad sometimes. At least it was in the past. I'm not sure how it's like now. But growing up for me, though, especially since in my state, Arizona, is one of the worst states for education. I'm surprised I even graduated myself. And just so you know of how old I am, we actually had to take AIMS. I'm not sure what that stands for. Not SATs, AIMS. If you failed, you had to repeat the whole grade over again. And I was surprised that my um, teacher, um, she's a to school teacher. Um, I forgot her name. She was such a sweetheart. She basically helped me graduate. I graduated in 2013. I'm that old, by the way, to basically make it through my senior year. And basically, just seeing stuff, stuff like this, it's like she's right here, right? Because she actually helped me when I had to, had to stay after school for like a good half hour for my work while everyone else was just basically just leaving the school on their bikes and maybe going to Soccer K or something like that. Um, it's hard because you have to work harder. You're more behind the other students because you, want it, you need it to pass the class. And you don't want it to disappoint your parents, give or take. Let's just say 12 out of 11, 12 out of 12 was kind of difficult. But yet again, 12 out of 9 and 12 out of 10, especially during, um, you know, the economy crisis when Barack Obama became president. It was awesome. He became president. It was hell. It was. Literally. And that's when my, my mother actually stopped working for her boss when she was a nanny. Not a great year. It wasn't. This is something I just want to share because I like learning about new stuff when it comes to, like, you know, just like schooling, education, and mental health. Not the best of space, science, and geography. That explains the country flags. <sighs> and I need to get ready to go for a walk because I'm running anywhere in the past day and a half. And I love this from guy episode. And I just basically missed that part when Lois censored the fuck you to her friends, I think. They censored that. But they usually don't on Adult Swim. <sighs> this is why old Femme guy is gold. No, so.